and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is a continuation of the last blast you just got finished seeing, where you saw me doing my abstracts and collages. That was a fun one. But I want to continue on and actually do one for you in a couple of minutes. One of the things I want to show you and point out to you is, I always say, what's the concept? What's the big idea? Every one of my paintings has to have a direction, an idea, a concept. And so if you remember, the last time I was talking about these paints have to represent a title that was a, a word, like excitement, joyous, sorrow, words like that. So I named the painting first. So when the painting matches the title, that's when I know it's done. At least I work backwards that way. I don't work the title last. I start off with the title. So for instance, the paintings you see for me, uh, behind me right now, uh, were based on soft and hard, maybe feminine and masculine. As you can see here, I have my more softer side. The colors and the values are really close. I like to refer to this as my indoor voice, softer. And you can see here I'm starting some right off the bat with soft colors, right? On this other one, though, it's more masculine. My outdoor voice, aggressive, black, white, strong. So where do I find those words? Looked up the word masculine in the Rosé Cesaris. There's like 500 titles in there. And then I pick and choose which title I want to be, and I write it on the back of every painting. All right. Now, having said all of that, let's get painting. I'm going to go over to my other table and actually finish the one we started on the last blast. So here I am in my workspace. I've chosen the masculine side. That's the one I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so in the, in the thesaurus, I found words like manhood, vigor, manly. So that's the kind of direction I'm gonna be going. So see, now I have a concept, an idea. Remember, in the last one, the last Bob Blast, we did paintings this size. This was the mat. These are the dimensions. Here's the painting that I actually was working on, see? 15 inches by 15 inches this is the size of the paper. Two inch borders. And if you recall, I put tape down. This is the two inch wide tape. So I have a nice clean border. And now let's get painting. So I had glued the paper down. That was my collage. I'm going to start to simplify. Simplify. Here we go. Whoa. acrylic paint. Oh. Fun, huh? Even more white. Woo! More contrast. Contrast. Oh, there you go. That way the eye goes right there. Maybe more black in here. Yeah. A little, a little tension right there. That's nice. So that's a combination of paint and paper. Pretty aggressive. There we go. Let's wipe some of it off. Even. I like that look. It looks like it's been burnished in. Oh, very nice. New and different. I like it. And a couple more spots of white. There we go. There we go. There we go. Better. This is creating an awful lot of tension over here. Let's make it not so obvious. There we go. Whoa. I like that shape much better. All right. Let's do some drawing. I like drawing in here. Scraping and scratching. I like showing the hand of the artist, getting very involved in the painting, not just brushes, but with drawing tools more intriguing. I like it. All right, there we go. We're done at this point. And now we'll let this dry. And the next clip, I'm going to be taking the tape off and finishing it for you. Okay, so the painting now has dried and now it's time to take off the tape. 
to show the nice clean border. Well, guess what? It's not a nice clean border. You get this bleeding. It's kind of a cool little effect. So it's not always perfect, as you can see, it's not always perfect. I kind of like that, again, that shows the hand of the artist. So let's go back over here. I'm gonna start taking the tape off. Whoa, here we go. Oh yeah, I can see that. It, some of it was bleeding, bleeding underneath the tape already. I really like this look. It almost has a monoprint feel to it. Look at that, oh yeah, cool. There we go. Oh. This is another fun level, isn't it? To play like this. And one more. Now we're almost all finished. I'll varnish it, sign my name, and then get a 16 inch by 16 inch plastic bag, those crystal clear bags and slide it right in there and off to the galleries it goes. Isn't this fun? So I, I hope you try this this year. It's a nice way to get started in the new year, new millennium or whatever this thing. Oh, new decade, that's what it is. Let's go attack it and with full force and be strong and really mean it. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Take care. Hey painters, have you ever felt like you just needed to give yourself some time out and just go away and paint just for you? Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and let me tell you about one of my most favorite places to go and paint in Mexico. I was writing it all down in my journal and I was reading it back to myself. I said, you know, this really reads pretty well. I'd much rather read it to you as opposed to trying to remember. But this is all about me going down and doing a painting workshop for two, count them, two one-weekers back-to-back -back in one of my most favorite places, 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in, my, in our own casa, filled full of a bunch of artists, and the ocean is right there. Let me read you this script that I wrote. It's better than me trying to remember it, okay? Painting in this charming open-air casa studio overlooking the authentic fishing village 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Imagine every day creating in the art studio right on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Ah, that ocean breeze is wonderful, right? Welcome to one of my most favorite times in Latin America, Casa de la Artistas. Come and paint with me, beginners and experienced. Abstract acrylic painting and collage workshops, two, one weeks. Boy, boy, does this ever sound like an advertisement, right? Refresh your creative spirit. Immerse yourself in the Mexican culture while you stay and paint on the top floor of this casa and studio. We'll be painting a lot. This painting workshop emphasizes loose, expressive abstract techniques, creative tearing collage pieces, and paint splashing at the Casa's magnificent open air studio with the sweeping views, boy do, I ever, do we ever have sweeping views, of the ocean and quaint village of Boca de Tamatlan. This is my paintcation for me. I hope it's also a paintcation for you. Give yourself some time out and reserve your space now. I'll see you down there in Mexico. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi there, painters. Hey, have you ever wanted to meet Van Gogh and Vermeer? I do. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome to my Holland Riverboat Cruise. I'm going to Holland. I cannot believe to do a workshop on a riverboat cruise. Nine days of a bliss and imagination and accommodations are spectacular. You know, I did this one in Paris 
all the way up to Normandy and coming right back down again. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was spectacular. I said, let's do this again, especially of the accommodation, the crew took care of us. The accommodations, the luxury, were just so well taken care of. The foods, as you can well imagine, the excursions, the entertainment. There's a lot going on on those riverboat cruises, but look where we get to go. We got to go to Van Gogh Museums, Vermeer. We get to see all that history, incredible excursions through those castles, and we get to paint every day. And the meals, we actually hurry back to the lunches on the, on, on the cruise ship. It's a small riverboat cruise just for the meals. Let me tell you, they take care of us. One of my favorite things, I'm looking forward to it. Riverboat cruises, that's where it's all happening. Small accommodations, educational especially. So you're gonna see a lot of museums, a lot of castles, and do a lot of painting time with me. I hope to see you there.